Bonjour, bonjour. Hello, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cyril. I used to be a stem cell researcher, and this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare in Kudan. And for today's video, one of my favorite subjects is, of course, about sunscreen and sunscreen protection. Also, if you are new to my channel, please consider to subscribe and don't forget to ring the little bell to not miss any of my new videos. And I have to say that Ines3 is one, I would say, of my favorite brand for sunscreen for um, two main reasons. First of all, is because the overall formulation in terms of UV filters are pretty excellent. And also because the price pound is very low. And therefore, if you are on a tight budget or simply because you don't want to spend a fortune on sunscreen, those one are an excellent option and they also have um, a pretty big portfolio. They also have their cons, like all the sunscreen that I'm about to show you, they all contain perfume. Some of them also contain a little bit more of botanical extract. So therefore, if you are sensitive and have especially allergic reaction to perfume, it will be a big no uh, for you. So I have four sunscreen to show you. So the first one is this one. This is the Daily Mild Sunscreen. Again, SPF 50 plus, peer rating of 4 pluses. If you are not new to my channel, you will know this. I only recommend SPF 50 plus and whatever your skin color is and also whatever your skin issue is, please never go below SPF 50 plus. There's always this ongoing myth that SPF 30 is uh, pretty similar to SPF 50 plus. This is absolutely not the case. I have a very old video that I should probably refill again, but there is a big difference, especially in the UVB transmittance in uh, your skin. So choose an SPF of 50 plus. So why I wanted to try this one is simply because it has the exact same filters as those two babies. So this one is the Clare, the Soft Air UV Essence. This one is the Purito, the, Ins the Santella Green Level and Scented Sun. Again, SPF 50 plus PR rating of four pluses. And those two contains Uvinyl T150 as a UVB absorbent and also Uvinyl A plus as a UVA type one absorbent and also a little bit of uh, UV type two. The problem of those two is that with this combination of filters, probably the filtering system in terms of UVA type two, so the one in between UVB and UVA type one won't be um, optimal. However, in this one, in addition of Uvinyl T150 and Uvinyl A+, you also have the Tinozorb S. So this one contains only three filters, like I've just said. Therefore, if you have a tendency to react to organic sunscreen, especially if you're in the United States, you basically don't have a lot of choice if you react, if you react to organic filters, most of the time you will have to transition with mineral sunscreen based. The problem with mineral based uh, sunscreen is that the UVA protection uh, will never be amazing. Also, they have a pretty strong white cast. So therefore, if you have darker skin type, you have almost uh, no option, which is something that I don't stand for, but you won't have the problem with this one. So this one has absolutely zero white cast. You can also check my video about sunscreen for darker skin tone, where I do a lot of um, swatches to show you sunscreen that have zero white cast and that are therefore compatible with darker skin tone. I have asked one of my friends to try them on for me, but anyway, this one will be compatible. Also, the texture is very lovely. This is a cream sunscreen that is not very heavy. It also blends uh, super easily on the face. It doesn't feel like a sunscreen. So is it, I would say, as elegant as the Clarins that I love so much? The answer is no, but it is pretty close. There's one major downside of this one is that it contains, like I said, perfume. Another thing that I really like about this one is that it is also an amazing base for a makeup application. So definitely, if you know that you're not going to be exposed to uh, a lot of sun, that you will be many uh, inside, this is one to consider that is um, excellent. And that also has a superior filtering system than the Clarice and the Purito. So the next one that I want to show you has a very interesting texture. This is one of the main reasons why I've decided to try it and put it to the test, mainly because of the texture, but obviously because of the UV filters. So this is this bad boy right here. This is the industry, the Aqua Water Drop Sunscreen. Again, SPF 50+, peer rating of 4 pluses. 
So this one in terms of UVB, of UVB is like a serious game because it contains a lot of UVB filters. It is not the best in terms of uh, UVF filters. So it has four different filters for UVB. So the first one is octinoxate, then it has homosalate, ethyl exyl salicylate, and the last one is uvinyl T150. Uvinyl T150 is also one, I would say, of my favorite UV filters. One of the reasons, because it has a strong affinity for the keratin in the skin, it is also extremely photostable, and a low concentration of uvinyl T150 can help to achieve a high SPF, and this is also why this sunscreen from Claire's can achieve an SPF 50 plus using only one UVB filters. Anyway, and the last filters is a UVA type one filters man mainly, and this is the UVNO uh, plus. It is not an excellent one for UVA type uh, two. Still, keep in mind that because it has so many UVB filters that also absorb a little bit in the UVA type two. Most likely, the protection in UVA type 2, you still have a good uh, coverage because um, all those absorption um, had. Still, I would love to have a, a little uh, channels of S, for example, to complement uh, this. So like the Daily Mild, I would recommend this one, unless you have a darker skin tone, to use it, uh, I would say, mostly for everyday uh, use. So the texture is very interesting because it feels very watery and very fresh on the skin. Despite the fact that it contains absolutely no alcohol, this is pretty mind-blowing. So it feels fresh, it also spread very easily on the face, and this you have to be very careful because a little bit can go a long way, and this is something that you do not want. You want to have a uniform coat of sunscreen on uh, your skin, so you do need to have your one fourth of a teaspoon only for your face. I also have a video to determine exactly how much sunscreen do you need if you want to have a precise amount, or if you think that your face is bigger than average or conversely smaller than average. Uh, you might need a little bit less, so it will be, I would say, easier for you to apply uh, sunscreen, of course. Anyway, so the finish is quite dewy to almost uh, shiny. Of course, it will also depend on your skin type. If you have super dry skin, you are going to love this one. If you have normal skin type like mine, it, it is still... Uh, uh, shiny, but it does work pretty well under makeup, especially if you have a foundation that is a little bit more matte. With this one, it will be like slightly uh, dewier. Also, a, ma a major plus is that it has zero zero white cast. It also doesn't have any uh, yellowish cast to it that some of them um, have. So, overall, it is. Um, a pretty good one to try. So again, it has perfume and also some botanical extracts. So the botanical extracts in this one are, uh, I would say, very ridiculous. Why? It's because you find them just after the preservative system. So usually when you are looking at the formula, the preservative are most of the time at the end of the formula because you need a tiny amount and therefore the Santella Asiatica that are there is also an extract from uh, tea leaves, there is also an extract of turmeric and other botanical extract. They are very very low in the list of ingredients. This is something that I'm not a big fan of because those brands usually uh, put out there that oh this sunscreen has Santella Asiatica and this and this and this but in reality, the concentration is so, so tiny that it's not going to do anything with your skin. Still, it is a very affordable sunscreen with nice uh, UV filters. Also, the texture is very interesting. It doesn't have any alcohol. But still, keep this in mind. If you, if you tend to react to botanical extract and also to perfume, this one won't be uh, for you. So the next one is a mineral-based sunscreen. This is this one. This is the Innisfree, the Triple Care. Again, SPF 50 plus, peer rating of four pluses. I've been using this one for years and uh, years. So this one is, I would say, one of the most elegant uh, mineral-based sunscreen that I know of. So you have not seen a lot of mineral-based sunscreen on my channel. One of the reasons is because you cannot achieve a very high UVA protection using only mineral-based filters. Also, when you're choosing a mineral-based sunscreen, it is very important that you always have zinc oxide and also titanium dioxide, and it is better if the concentration of zinc oxide is even higher than the titanium dioxide. One of the reasons because zinc oxide filters UVB, UVA type 2, and also the full spectrum of UVA type 1, and a tiny bit also on the visible, so the blue light. However with, however, with the titanium dioxide, it absorbs UVB 
UVA type 2 and a tiny bit of UVA type 1. So it's so it's very important to have uh, the zinc oxide. So this one is very, very elegant. Again, it is in a cream formulation. What I love about it is that it is not overly greasy because most of the time, mineral-based uh, filters uh, can feel very uh, chalky and dry and therefore some brands use a heavy amount of oils and therefore it will be uh, very oily on the skin. This is not the case of this one. This is also a silicone based uh, one. It also has a uh, synclopentosiloxan, which are basically tiny, tiny beads that are going to evaporate, but they help to spread the product. And this one is very easy to blend compared to other mineral based uh, sunscreen. Still, if you have facial hair like me, it is pretty difficult to blend in in the facial hair. Unfortunately, the world is not um, perfect. What I also love about it is that even though it has a white cast, this is not the strongest one, but still it has a white cast, there is some pink pigment in it. So therefore, the white cast is, I would say, more elegant and you don't uh, look like a dead uh, ghost because there is still this uh, pinky hue uh, to it. Of course, if you have darker skin tone, most likely it won't be suitable for you unless you are using a foundation on top that is uh, well darker. If you really choose this option, what I would consider to do is to, before buying your foundation, is to have the sunscreen with you, put it on your face and then try to match the foundation on top of the sunscreen. But be aware that you always need to use the correct amount. Do not decrease the amount of sunscreen. Again, the, one of the downside of this one is that it has perfume. So the last sunscreen from Innisfree that I want to show you today, this is definitely my favorite one. This is this by Brad White here, the Innisfree, the Intensive Long Lasting Sunscreen, ooh la la, SPF 50 plus, rating of 4 pluses. So this one is what I call an hybrid sunscreen. By hybrid, I mean that it uses mineral-based filters in the form of 12% of zinc oxide, so a pretty high concentration, plus organic-based UV filters. So the first one, like I have said, is zinc oxide. So this is a broad spectrum uh, UV filter that absorb UVB, UVA type 2, and also UVA type 1. Then we have octinoxate, which is mainly a UVB absorbent, homosalate, that is also a UVB absorbent, ethyl exyl salicylate, that is also a UVB absorbent. And the last one is Again, upper spectrum filters, it is my beloved tunes of S that absorb UVB, UVA type 2, and also UVA type 1 that goes hand to hand with zinc oxide. Something that is always interesting in those hybrid sunscreen is that because it contains uh, zinc oxide that is not greasy and it doesn't necessarily require to have a greasy solvent, therefore you can achieve a very high protection sunscreen without this super heavy, greasy feeling, which is something that is very important, especially if you have a more normal to holy skin type. Definitely the European based sunscreen that mostly use organic filters won't be uh, for you because they will be just too greasy. This is not the case of this one and this is why I love it so much. Also, the texture is magnificent because this is a, a cream that again blends very easily on the skin. And what is very amazing about it is that it doesn't cling to facial hair, which is something that almost never happens. This one, the triple care, does linger on my facial hair, but not uh, this one. So this is uh, pretty amazing. Again, with this one, a little bit does not go a long way, so it's very easy to have an even coat all over your face. The white cast also is not very strong on this one, it is pretty minimum. So even if you have medium skin type, you will still have this brightening and I would say whitening effect, but it is absolutely not dreadful. So therefore, if it is really a big deal, you can still apply makeup on top to correct it and you will not need like a really strong uh, correction, I would say. And at the same time, the UV filters in this one are very excellent and it is also very, very affordable. So it does contain perfume which is not optimal. This one is also water re resistant. My last point about this one is about the long lasting claim that is always something where I'm never really comfortable with it, simply because uh, what does it mean exactly? So for the SPF rating, it is a requirement that for 
two hours, the SPF, but also the peer rating is stable. So you are guaranteed with whatever sunscreen that you are going to buy in the world, if the test has been done correctly, that the protection will be the same for two hours. Up to two hours, we don't know. So because this one has a white cast and it is also water resistant, this is something that you can sort of try at home and indeed with this one even after six hours I still have a visible coat of, of the sunscreen on my face so it doesn't move uh, much. Still that doesn't mean that the SPF and the peer rating didn't uh, decrease over time but it just means that if you are someone who really don't like to reapply sunscreen you simply you are wearing a lot of makeup and you don't want to touch makeup during the day and basically mess up your makeup with reapplication. If it is something that is really a struggle, try this one because you have, I would say, more guarantees that, that this one will last uh, longer on your face. And again, this is a very affordable one. So comment down below and tell me if you have ever tried one of the Ines Free uh, sunscreen. Definitely sunscreen are those type of product where I think I am less, I would say, exigent, my first requirement are let the SPF, the peer rating, and then if it has a perfume or alcohol or some botanical extract, I am more forgiving because I know that it's so difficult to find the perfect sunscreen that is also compatible simply with your budget because uh, we don't, all of us cannot spend a fortune on, on sunscreen and it could be um, a big impact on the subject. Anyway, so if you like this video, please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to ring the little bell to not miss any of my new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram. I am Cyril Laurent. I have a lot of stuff there. Definitely check my stories. You will learn a lot about uh, skincare and skincare ingredients, of course. And I will see you next time. Au revoir. Bye bye.